actually three or four weeks ago, I mentioned to Ray that everybody that I was running into that was under 40 was asking me if I'd seen this making a murder her. And I didn't even know what they were talking about. And they said it's on I Netflix. It's on you. And you said, let me put some people together and we'll do a show on it. Well, we did it two weeks ago with the intention of making it a one-time deal, but there was too much information, so we carried it over today. So tell us who you brought with you and give Uncle us a little background. Uncle is with us today, a prosecutor, and Commander David Lyons, who is a, a, a in basically he's in charge of the personal crime section of the police department. Um, which is robbery, homicide, and all that sort of thing. And, and Jack, I asked both of them if they would look at this Netflix series, Making a Murder. Well, the series um, centers on a tr murder trial involving a Stephen Avery. Um, Stephen Avery had previously been convicted of um, sexual assault back in the 1980s that he was later exonerated of based on DNA. And while he had a civil suit pending against the police department for that prosecution, uh, a murder occurred on his property, or at least that's what's alleged by the prosecution in the case, and then the rest of the series centers on sort of whether or not he was framed, uh, whether or not he's innocent, and sort of the faults of the police department and the prosecution in that case. Last time about how the show, while presenting itself as a documentary, really is more slanted trying to depict itself as showing that Stephen Avery is actually innocent and actually was framed when it's not really giving the whole picture of what happened in that case. What's happening in, in the aftermath of all of this? Well, like any documentary or anything that puts itself as presenting one idea, you obviously have people who start to dig a little bit more and eventually you'll see articles that have come out showing the things that the Netflix series doesn't show viewers that would point to why that individual was found guilty in the case. And I've seen other articles that seem to be Backlash might be too hard of a phrase to use, but certainly criticizing the makers of the series um, because the filmmakers seem to present themselves as showing an objective point of view on this trial. When when you watch the show, it really isn't. It's, it's really slanted in one direction because all the interviews and, and footage is based from the defense's perspective. You don't follow the investigators around. You don't follow what they do during all those hours and hours of investigation. And even the trial itself, it's really only two or three episodes out of the entire 10 series, 10 episode series. After the show today, we all began discussing how the victim, Teresa, has been ignored. We've all learned about Steve Avery, but nothing about the victim. The real issue is why do crime victims get the least amount of attention in the criminal justice system? Wouldn't you think that the murdered victim in this case would have rights in the process? They don't have any. Make sure you check out our recent post regarding Teresa Halbach and make the real issue go viral. See you next week on True Crime.